So at Black Barn Alpacas, we are on 16.29 acres here in Floresville, Texas. What we wanted to do was something sustainable. We wanted to really focus on uh, breeding, fleece, and then since we love our alpacas so much and think they're so wonderful and everybody else thinks they're wonderful that we opened up agritourism as well. bought our property about four years ago and about two years ago we were sitting around and figuring out what we wanted to do. Okay. We, knew we wanted to do something with animals, something sustainable. I already loved alpacas and my wife did too. We'd always bought pictures and postcards. Okay. And little trinkets, everything alpaca okay. related. We always thought that. they were adorable. I do that too. Somehow innately we knew that um, alpacas were our thing and we started talking about it and then I started investigating and we were going to start off with 10 or 20 maybe but now we ended up somewhere around 65. Oh my god. Up to around 80. In fact, we have 13 more coming in soon. The more right. research we yeah. did about them, the more we realized that they were really the perfect animal. Again, the sustainability factor of yeah. it, and we can actually, you know, uh, make goods out of their fleeces. Every year. Again, as a bonus as an interior designer, so I can kind of incorporate that in, into what I do. Yeah, so tell us more about that, because that's a totally different spin. So I actually have a, a full functioning uh, interior design firm where I focus on residential and commercial interiors. And one of the goals with the alpaca products that we're going to do is launch a sustainable collection of alpaca goods, anything ranging from pillows to rugs to custom area rugs. And uh, so stay tuned for, yeah. for those fun finds How you know, cool. coming up. So you have some like really fun stuff set up. I can see it from here. <laughs> yes, yes. And we actually had lots of requests to use the space you know, for parties. We've got our excellent garden area over there and then our retail store. Okay. And then we also have our barn that's filled with all of the floofy critters. All the floofy critters. <laughs> I love it. This is a whole learning opportunity for me. And I'm loving it. You know, we absolutely adored alpacas. So we opened up agritourism as well so that people could come by, learn a little bit about alpacas, some alfactas, if you will. <laughs> and then also be able to just hang out with them and enjoy them. You can feed them and, you know, and, and pet them and, and hang out with them, which is really, you know, the best part is just really getting to know them. Welcome to our garden area, Ooh. where we encourage people to sip on champagne. We call it a sip and spit. How where cute, you can yeah. Sip champagne, and, and, and I joke that you could let the alpaca <laughs> spit on you. <laughs> and even enjoy a charfleufery oh with them. And we actually can let the alpacas in here. So really? kind of just hang out with you while you're enjoying it. You know, in the future, we want to have chef night, um, cool. where we have a chef come and cook for folks. And they can oh, that's cool. you know, sit out here. We can that's arrange really tables. Cool. It'll be by uh, appointment as well. Mm -hmm. You know, So this will be very versatile for us, for sure. Uh, this is a great space. Yeah, and what's nice, too, you know, you can eat in here, and the alpacas will come in, and they'll enjoy it, too. And, you know, they're more curious than annoying, which is that's why they're that's what their appeal is. So. Oh, right, that's what makes them so charming. <laughs> Welcome to our store. <laughs> One of our favorite things to show is what the alpaca fleece feels like once it's been brushed and washed and processed. So soft. naturally hypoallergenic and again, fully sustainable. Awesome. We'll walk you over here to some of our other alpaca stuffies. So these are all handmade in Peru, and again, made all out of alpaca oh, fleece. Oh, awesome. pieces of cloud that just fell from the sky. I know, it <laughs> is, it is. This is some of our yarn that we make. Uh, this comes from wow. one of our champion males. This is a rug yarn. Hopefully, if everything goes well, we want to build a store by the highway. Okay. So that'll be open five days a week for people just to walk in casually whenever they want to. You know, we want to really make something special out of, out of the business. So, where did the name Black Barn come from? So, black is one of my favorite colors. Mine too. <laughs> and I've always dreamed about having my very own Black Barn. And so, we thought that was the perfect name for Black Barn Alpacas. This is cool. And also that we specialize in gray and black alpacas. So, it kind of made sense. So, this is what we do when we bring people out here. We'll walk around, educate, and then we'll let them feed and, <laughs> um, and spend plenty of time with the little baby. So sweet. Mm -hmm. 
They love the camera. I know, they do. Look, it's like they know. Oh, I love your lashes. Oh, some of them have great <laughs> lashes. We've I got I put, one with permanent eye makeup out here. I put my, my big eyelashes on to match them. <laughs> your girls. Oh my god, they're all over. <laughs> yeah. um, this thanks. is the El Packet. This is the El Packet attack. I want to thank y'all again for this experience. And like everybody can come out here. Absolutely.